Patrice in the building. All right, so what's going on? Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for uh, coming on. Uh, so no. how long, well, first thing first, how, how long you been on TikTok? Because that's where I found you at. Um, I've been on TikTok for not that long, maybe about a month or two now. About a month. Well, what made you what yeah. what what made you choose uh, TikTok social media over, uh, let's say YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or do you or do you have all of those? I do, but I don't get on them. Um, I have YouTube, I have Instagram, I have Facebook. I just don't get on none of that stuff. I only get on TikTok really to just laugh, but mm -hmm. that particular day, it just went from laughing to I needed to vent because my friend wasn't around. Oh, okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So you do. So you say you do have a. You do have Facebook. You do have a YouTube, uh, Instagram. The top three. Um, yeah. So did you, did did you? Well, I'm I'm going to assume you probably had a Facebook before you even got into trucking, but uh, yeah, when you got into trucking, that's when you decided to do uh, Instagram and YouTube. No, I've been on Instagram and YouTube, Instagram and all that stuff been around a long time. Mm -hmm. I've been had all of that stuff. Um, I even have a, a um, Snapchat. I just don't get on none of that stuff. You TikTok know, is my own. You you know what I you know what my 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 son is is heavy, in in all the all the social medias. Well, he well because he's a he's you know him and his uh fiance they're graphic artists so basically okay. they they just you know they they promote their their artist work and everything me uh okay. i of course i got a facebook but see i'm not i'm not heavy on facebook you know i, I and i just <laughs> you know I, I i i'm just not i'm just not heavy on facebook uh, Snapchat, same thing. I mean, I I have one, and <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I tried to do uh, a Snapchat. Tried, you know, try to be it because you know my son got it, but I'm not interested in that either, you know. But of course, <laughs> uh, of course, my YouTube with the million subscribers that's uh, that's rocking out with me, and now TikTok. Now, if now because of my son, is the reason why I started a TikTok. I mean, because at first uh, I wasn't feeling TikTok either. I mean, you know, it was just a whole bunch of young kids on there doing dumb stuff, you know, challenges and right. and stuff like that. But my son was like, "Yo, Dad, seriously, you need to you need to jump on TikTok, man." I was like, "Well, what are you talking about, bro?" He was like, man, all these truck drivers on here, that's how I'm learning about trucking through TikTok. I was like, well, if you want to learn about trucking, why don't you just ask me? <laughs> your, your father, so, what the, the wait, hell? <laughs> so wait, like, okay, are you a truck driver or you just record? No, a I'm a truck. No, I'm a truck driver. Too. Yeah. I've been, okay. yeah, I've been driving. Right. I, I've been driving for six years now. Okay. Yeah. So right. I I've been uh I've been doing this uh I've been doing the you know I've been doing my YouTube well I had my YouTube before I got into trucking but uh I started picking up I started picking up more on my YouTube because of trucking and now okay and now with this TikTok shit that's going on right now I I I pick up more than that um all right so. What what was you doing before you got into trucking? I was a home health care aide. Okay, okay. What, yeah, I was a home health care aide for um, from 2010 when I graduated high school early all the way to 2015 when I began trucking. Oh, okay. So whoa, 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 hold on. So you graduated out of high school in 
2010? Yes, I'm only 28. Oh, so you're I'll a, be 29. This so you're a millennial. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um. All right. So when you got out of high school, you you decided to go into home health aid. Uh, how how long how how long was that? You uh, how how long was that? And what made you what made you decide? I did that for five years. Huh? I did that for five years. Okay. And what made me decide to quit or leave it? Yeah. What what or what made you decide? What what got your interest in trucking? Because I'm. I'm a, I'm assuming the whole health aid. You you you're not seeing no trucks backing up to people's houses. So <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I, I mean I, I don't I don't that see no eight I don't see no eighteen wheelers coming up to people's houses delivering stuff. So my question to that you is like how you even how you even got interested in trucking. Well, see, Pete, this okay. I originally started trucking or wanted to do trucking when my sister boyfriend came over one day. It was like a long time ago. We was real little. Mm -hmm. And so he came over and spent time with my sister, but he pulled up in his truck in her driveway. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 wait, hold up. You're saying this is your little sister a long time ago? No, my big sister. Oh, your big sister. Oh, your big sister. And you was little. Okay, okay. Your sister must be, must have been in her, in what, in her 20s or her teens? Yeah, at the time she was like in her 20s, 30s. Because my sister was about to be in her 40s now. Okay, okay. Talk to me now because I'm over here like, (laughs) <laughs> okay, your sister must be uh, what, like, like real young or something like that. You just graduated out of well, high no, school no, in no. 2010. <laughs> oh, what? No, at that time, I was at that time I was in elementary school, so I was really young. Mm-hmm. Um, but he pulled up in her driveway, and it was like a weekend because we didn't have school that next day. Right, and so. It was just a tractor, and he let us sleep in the truck, and, you know, it just, I don't know, I just liked it, but he never gave me the ropes or anything later on when I decided I wanted to do that, um, well, but I, I did. I'm, I'm going to assume he probably didn't do that out of respect to your sister, you know, he he, he going well, out with no, your sister and everything, and numbers. you, huh? No, we got each other numbers. And he was supposed to contact me when I first went to school because I started out at CR England, but it didn't work. We didn't get along, so I left CR England. Wait, 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 wait! You, 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 you going too far? You, you going too far? We, we, you going too far? Like CR England? Okay, all right. But let's backtrack to, 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 to your sister's boyfriend. Are, are they still? Are, are they still together to this day, or what? They know each other, but they're not together. Oh, okay, okay. So, so 2015 is where you got interested. You, what, what you do? You, you, you reached out to the boy, uh, to the boyfriend. Was let me ask you this: you, Now they're not together, but back in 2015, was they, was they still together in 2015? Where you reached no. out to them? No. Oh, okay. They now, always are close. They're friends. You know, they still talk to each other, and every now right. and then he visits them, but now they're let, not together. Now, now, let me ask you this. Like, let, 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 let me ask you this now. You, it, you did, did you go to the sister and be like, hey, uh, sis, I'm about to ask uh, John Boy over here to teach me about trucks. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, me and my sister don't talk like that. We don't have that kind of relationship. But uh, at that particular time, um, we was kind of on a little talking term. But she gave me his number and told okay. me to call him. Okay, okay. Um, I didn't call right away um, because I know it felt awkward anyway. Right, you know, I'm right. Like, if he wanted to help me, he would have he, volunteered. He probably would have. He probably would have did. 
Right. So it, it turned out a disaster anyway. Oh. Um, so well, I that's why I just don't. Well, 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 wait, 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 Patrice. What 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 no. happened? Why did it explode? It. I mean, it shouldn't have exploded. No, I don't want to get into all of that. I'm just saying it, uh, it turned into a disaster. You uh, know, that's why I said if he really wanted to help, right, he would have helped. helped. Uh, yeah. No. Okay. All right. So it just didn't go that way. <laughs> all right. So you you I'm I'm assuming you did your research, like you know we all we all preach yeah. that. And you came across uh, some companies that was, you know, that was, that was, you know, offering CDL training for the work for them. And you came across and you started well, CR England. England. What happened yeah. with you and CR England? Well, first, backtrack. Okay. okay. All right. See, our England was the original, initial, most initial jump because I actually went through the program. Right. But I started out a roadmaster, really. Oh, okay, and roadmaster with uh, Warner. That was uh, that's Warner's yeah. uh, schooling. Okay. Yes, and um, the trainer was like, you know, if you guys feel that you're too or something like that, you know, just let me know and mm -hmm. we won't continue or whatever. This this so is at Roadmaster. Yes, this is at Roadmaster for Warner in Indianapolis. And okay. I was nervous. I was scared. So I told him, I said, I don't think I could do this. All right. So he excused me and let me get up and walk off and I went home. Okay. okay. And then I want to say about a year or two later, that's when I decided to shoot for CR England. CR England. Now, I knew my record wasn't all of that or mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. But CR England, let me get there, leave my job, um, start school there for two weeks, and then they tell me they can't use me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Now, with role masters. I took the test. I upgraded everything. <laughs> so, with Roadmasters, you, uh, you, that that was your idea of of just yeah, backing I wasn't out. Ready. You 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 wasn't yeah. ready, and that's a good thing because see, a lot of people that jumps into this, you know, think that they're ready, and they really not. You know, this yeah. this a whole this a whole different ball game coming from, you know, home health aid. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, but you got your shoes on, you pulled your big girl panties up, and you decided to <laughs> give it another go around. So now yeah. you now you're at CR England. Uh you 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 knocked it out for how long was the program? The program was supposed to be more the than two weeks, was right? Supposed to be three weeks. No, oh, the program was supposed to be three weeks. And but you knocked it out in two. Of four. Well, I was there and I was there for two weeks before they told me to go home. Oh, okay, wait, wait, but, wait. Why um, did they tell you? Did wait? Did you get your license before they told you to go home? No. Okay. No, that so, was the point. <laughs> so why they tell you to go home? That's what I said in the beginning. I knew my record wasn't all that great, but I didn't know it wasn't that great. Ain't that a, it, it, that's, so, that's some BS right there, man. So right, he could have did that process right. before I got there, right? Right. But so no, all that, so all that crazy. time, all that time, you talking to the recruiter, you give the information to your recruiter. They they and ran the through. They ran the the <laughs> they ran the initial check. <clears throat> they ran the initial check, right? And every mm -hmm. everything was cool. But then yeah. two weeks later, they come back to you and be like, no, nah, we can't use you. Uh, the, during the driver exactly. shortage, yo? I literally, I literally did everything. I did my general knowledge. I right. did my combination. I right. did my air brake. Right. I was in the vehicle backing up. Okay. Jumping, you know, jumping in and out of the truck and right. everything. I was doing all of that. And then they told me, no, nah, we can't. Proceed because your record. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. You, you gonna tell me now? What? What did you did you ask them 
What was on your record? I said, wait. What about? I said, what? So what you mean? What's on it? So they gave me everything that they had accumulated. So okay. I said, okay. I whole time it was a speeding ticket that I had in Iowa because I used to live in Iowa. I said, but this is like two years old. Right. It's got to wait one more year. Right. I'm like, what? So at that time, it's time for me. They gave me a little time to pack up my stuff and get out. Wow. Literally, they only gave me an hour. What? And, um, that means I had to wait on the bus to come back and get me to get back to the hotel, which that took 30 minutes. So I only had 30 minutes to get everything together and get it back on the bus to only sit on the bus and wait for my ride to come get me because they were supposed to give me a bus ticket home, which they never did. So my ride ended up having to come all the way from Indianapolis, which at the time was a three-hour drive from mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. um, we were stationed at, in somewhere at the top of Indiana. But I just was disgusted. So I've never looked at... See our England the same. I think I had it bad from the start of getting in trucking, but that's but, why it's so what, hard for me. Well, you day. you know what you know what, man. I mean, see our England kind of did you dirty. I, I, I'm I'm gonna. They did. I, I'm just gonna throw it out there. They they didn't. They I mean, did. even even after they got you, even after they got you in there, they could have just sat down with you and they could have just said. Yo, you know, you got this little issue right here that was two years ago or whatever, whatever. And um and I I'm 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 assuming you took care of that. So Yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, you know, you, you, you took care of that. And of course it's gonna be, you know, on on the rec you know, on the record for like at least three years before it drops off or whatever. But if that was the only thing that was on your record, man, it wasn't like that you lied. I mean, you told everything to right. the to 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 the recruiter, and the and recruiter got the you recruiter. in. And she was like, "It's gonna be okay. Yeah, we we could be a, we should be able to work with that." I'm okay. like, "Okay, no problem. That'll be great." So that's what got me all pumped and excited. left my job and everything. But thank God, my job really loved me, and she was like, "We still always have a position for you. Come oh. on back." Okay. So I went back to work as a home health care aide or whatever. I had two home health care jobs, so I went back to both of them with no problem. But it was the fact that I was gone for two weeks. Yeah, you, that you ain't got no, you, you, you ain't even get paid. You ain't even got no money coming exactly. in. You know, Nothing. so yeah, that, that I was. I down there off my money. Wow. All right, so, so of course you, 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 you passed you you passed all your or your DMV tests. It was just a matter yeah. of just getting in, learning the truck, the truck and and, and getting right. and and doing the driving test for your CDL. Yeah. All right. So CR England is out. Uh, okay. What, what, CR England Warner was, was out. out. Warner was out. <laughs> Warner was out. <laughs> All right, so who's who's next? And the, that you the thing that got me in was Pam. The thing that got me in was Pam. <laughs> Pam Transportation. Pam Transportation. Through, um, through um, C1, C1 Trucking in Indy. Oh, okay. I went through them. So That's what Pam, I went through. So Pam Transportation sent you to C1 Trucking. No, in I went through... C1 truck and myself, and they had an option between Pam and Swift. Okay. Swift, I Why do, you know what, there. hold on, wait, I'm trying to think. Why do C1, if I'm not mistaken, I think I talked to them. Is that black owned, C1? I don't, I, I know the um guy that was ahead at first was a black guy, but he passed. I'm not for sure if he was the owner not but it was a lot of black trainers there and it was a lot of yeah, white I, trainers I, I, there. I think I, I think I talked to the young lady that, that runs uh C one uh trucking school out of Indiana. If I'm not mistaken, I gotta go back into my archives and check that out. But if that's the case, shout okay. out shout out to C one, man. So they 
So yes, it you, was the truth. I love them. It was never a dull moment in school. It was never a dull moment learning. The equipment was somewhat okay, and it just they they did their best to make sure you got on the road as comfortable as possible. Okay, so you got so you got on with uh with C one. Well, let me ask you this: Did you 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 got with Pam after you got with C one? Or you found Pam yes, and was they the, was that was the remix. Okay, so so Pam, so you so how did you find C one? How, how how did you go about finding C one? I was looking for trucking schools online, mm-hmm. and when at the time I lived in Lafayette, which was sixty some miles from Indianapolis, so okay. um, I was still working at the healthcare place that I had quit to go to the other one. So all this was within a year or so. Right. Um, so I would get off of work in, in early in the morning and go there from six, seven o'clock in the morning all the way to about three, three or four o'clock in the afternoon, mm-hmm. Monday through Friday. Mm-hmm. And Saturday was like little extra days if you needed extra help. You know, but I never went on Saturdays because when I went, I already had my general knowledge combination right you you already had you you already had your permit you you already had your permit yeah so you didn't have to go and do all all that stuff again all you just needed was to 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 sit there for three weeks okay until that well for two weeks until that that part was up and then you guys got into the got into the truck okay 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 yeah all right so all right so you got your you you got your cdl pam uh, Pam came into play to flip the script for your, for your CDL. Okay. So of course you yeah. had to, you had to, you know, contract with them for about a year or so. Did you, did you fulfill that contract? Did with I them? No, I did not. Oh, man. <laughs> Let me oh, tell you how that happened. Oh, man. Pam is- has this requirement. Pam has this requirement that you have to sing for a year. Right. That's something they did not put in the uh, specification in the beginning. They have this policy where you have to sing with a driver for a year. Now, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait a minute now, Patrice. Oh, hold up now. Hold up now. Hold up now. You, 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 you going a little bit too fast for this old man. Hold on. Wait. You have to be with a with a a trainer for Another a year driver. no you have to go with a trainer for at least three at least three months oh okay, okay. yeah that's and yeah that's standard that yeah that's standard right but after that's that standard. after the three, three months, months you have to go a year with a team driver which uh, is say what? fresh out of school yes fresh out of school just like you now, okay. Oh, okay. So oh, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So you you three weeks with the, I mean you yeah you three weeks with with the trainer. You good mm-hmm. to go? You fresh? The trainer said you all right. You know you you yeah. all right? We release you. Bam, bam, boom. You mean to tell me, instead of going solo, they forced no, I have to team. they forced you to team. It's not a force. It's the contract. You have to do that in order for them to pay for your well, tuition. That's that's now, that's tuition lightweight. That, like that's lightweight forcing. That's if I had to sign. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if I had to sign a contract, if I had to sign a contract to to team with somebody in order to stay with you guys or whatever. Yeah. You 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 forcing me. Uh, suppose I don't want a team. I mean, I you sure. know what you know what. I I get it. I I get it. You know, I I'm, I I I try to see both sides of the fence. You know, my my side of the fence. No, I'm I'm not cool with teaming. Number one, when you team with that with a, with a person, that person has to have the same uh have to have the same grind, have to have the same motivation, have to have the same work ethic. You know. Well, if, I was okay with it nope. at one point. No, that but that's what I'm saying as far as as far as what I'm looking for. 
you know, if I'm yeah. looking, if I'm looking the team, especially if it's not, you know, if it's not with my woman or anything like 